Continuing then, um, let's talk about sensors. Uh, now, the sensors can be tied into an alarm system, you generally are tied into an alarm system, um, and we'll, we'll get to that. Um, the, but different types of, uh, of sensors um, for different situations. Um, Again, it, it depends on what you're protecting. It depends on the environment that you're, you're dealing with. Uh, so, uh, we can start with photoelectric. Um, and this can range all the way from the little laser tripwire type systems to closed circuit television. I mean, you know, you uh, can have... Uh, the simple systems where it breaks a light beam and uh, an alarm gets triggered. Um, you can have um, uh, different levels of uh, capacity with regard to that. Um, are you uh, illuminating the area? Is it, as I say, you know, closer all the way up to closed circuit TV? And how much resolution have you got? It's all. Uh, you know, basically the same technology. You're using light, you're using uh, uh, an electronic sensor uh, to detect the light patterns and then either recording it or uh, generating an alarm, whatever you may do. Um, so, uh, ultrasonics. Um, we're using sound waves here. Um, generally, sound waves that are either uh, too high a frequency to hear or too low a frequency to hear. Um, and uh, we have um, a pattern of those uh, sound waves in, in the area. And when anyone moves through that area, it disturbs that pattern. We can sense that. Uh, so we can detect uh, movement of a, a body. Um, basically any, uh, any solid body. Um, microwave, uh, same thing in a sense with uh, electronic radiation um, as uh, opposed to the sound waves. But, you know, we're looking at the um, uh, radio frequency ra waves and uh, the patterns that they set up. Passive infrared, now again, We'll talk about closed circuit TV, and we may be talking there about active infrared, where we're illuminating an area with infrared uh, illumination so that we can get a video picture of who is there with them, uh, as far as they are concerned, simply uh, thinking that they are in complete darkness. But uh, passive infrared is, is detecting um, the heat signatures of, for example, a person an animal. Um, and, and that is one of the things that we do have to uh, pay attention to with any of these sensor systems is what kind of non-adversarial false alarms can be generated. You know, will an animal set it off? Do you have a lot of animal activity in, in the area? Um, if we have, uh, say, weight sensors and, and you know, that uh, happens sometimes. Um, uh, do we have uh, animals that are heavy enough to trigger it? Or, you know, uh, is it only, you know, rabbits and squirrels that we have to worry about? And so anybody the size of a person is going to uh, trip that sensor, but the, the rabbits won't. Um, the... Um, uh, oh, there, uh, yeah, another one um, uh, related, in a sense, to the pressure sensors um, is the um, capacitance things. You have a, an electronic fence um, uh, with a slight charge to it. You have um, some uh, wires running under the ground, and there is a certain field between the, the fence and the wires which will be disturbed if a person who is basically a bag of water uh, crosses that area. Um, and that can be tuned uh, in terms of the non-adversarial disturbances. So, um, you know, we can 
tune it for the size of animals that we have to deal with in, in the area, if that is a consideration. So, um, closed circuit TV, as I said before, um, you probably want to get a specialist to deal with this for you, uh, to set it up, somebody who knows all of the factors um, in terms of detection. You know, do we just want to detect that someone entered the area or uh, was loitering in the area or moved from one point to another? Um, do we want recognition? Do we want to be able to tell that this are a man or a woman and something about the clothing that they're wearing or something like that? Again, do we want black and white or color? Um, do we want identification? Do we want good enough resolution that we can present this as evidence in court saying, yes, this identifiable person on camera is the person who broke into this facility? Um, so we've got, you know, all, all of those types of issues um, with regard to a, uh, a closed circuit television system. Um, now, uh, as I've mentioned before, an, an alarm system always has the three components. The sensor, the control or communications aspect, and the actuator. In the sense of a uh, closed circuit TV system, we've got um, the sensor, basically, is the camera. Uh, we have... Um, mostly the communication system, either by cables or by wireless, uh, to record the video that is being generated by the camera. And, and that's the, uh, controller communication system. There are, of course, other aspects to it, turning cameras on, turning cameras off, um, aiming cameras if you've got, uh, pan heads on and things like that. Um, the, uh... Um, actuator, in the case of a closed circuit TV system, is um, either the, the person watching a monitor and making a decision based on what they see, or um, the uh, recorder that is recording the video for hopefully later review by somebody. Um, so, um, so we've got those aspects to it um as i say you know closed circuit tv um a complicated system but at its heart is simply another alarm sensor uh alarm system you know and, and dealing with sensors and controls is is dealing with the aspects that you need related to your situation